Hey, hey guys, it's Crystal Dragonfly here with my first ever making blowish journal for a swap. I am so excited, but before I jump in to show you what I made, first off, Kate, I don't think you will miss Chris, but if you are, don't watch this, because I want you to be surprised when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, what is a flow journal for you guys who don't know? What it is, is the flow, the flow magazine is a craft magazine and it has, it's really expensive, but it's so friggin' cool. It has all kinds of cool paper, um, stencil, uh, paper, stencil, st stickers. It's a paper dream magazine. I mean, it's really cool guys. Look it up if you don't know what one is. And it is over in Europe. But you can't get them here. It just costs so much. So. We cheapies as crafters. We tend to be. We try, you know. Because, hey, crafting can be expensive. So we try to save our money. Came up with the idea of making our own flowish journals. So. This is my first one. I had to share it. I enjoyed the process so, so much. I've been been talking to the few that are in my inner circle of craft friends asking if they want to do another one. <laughs> I did get a taker. Yay, Mara! I'm so excited. Um, but let's let me show you this before I get going. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little little gone tonight. So this is I'm with the junk journal Facebook group, I think it's the name of it. I'm not for sure. I'll put it in the down bar. Um, and the point on this one is, yet they have yet to fit it in a priority meal envelope. Can be any bigger, whatever. That's not any fun stuff. But <laughs> let's show you what I got. Okay, this is actually made of. I made it with a cereal box, and I just painted and whatnot. So everything in here should be able to be able. She should be able to use it. Kate should be able to. So. She likes these type of flowers, so I got them, and I glue hot glued them on, but I just barely glued them, and you guys know with hot glue and paper, you just pop, and they pop off, so she'll be able to pull those off. The binding, I tied loosely, I mean literally just, you know, once and over, all this lovely, fun lace and funky material and all kinds of stuff for her. She can use, take it off, I doubled it up, that way it's long enough. I was planning on doing this to the whole back, but I got too energetic with the insides, and yeah, I won't fit if I don't do this. So, these are broken, just old jewelry, some buttons, um, broken jewelry. Um, this one is, they have their swaps, they do have um, themes. This was a search and find, and you had to include so many different items. I'm not going to show you each and every one, but it was fun. Um, but let's look here. Alright, so. Remember, everything is made for you to take it apart and use it. So you're binding, you don't sew it. This is actually, um, I used a stretch mat magic on it. One around, around, around. For you can easily, you can pull these out and use them. I'm not going to pull a piece out because you have no idea what I did to get this thing together. So, I made a pocket right here starting off. And I put in some cardstock and some stencils because I don't like the big ones. So I cut them up and share. And... Alright, here we go. Try not to talk high. So much, um, and you put in like you know we talk. I talk to we talk to each other some jelly plates, and I asked her some questions like what her colors were, um, favorite colors, um, what, and she told me she was looking for little images, um, and dogs were a big thing, and so you know we talked, and I got to know her a little bit, and tried to incorporate some of her likings into the um, journal. I'm not, you're not going to be able to see a lot because I don't want to pull them out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The cool p cow picture. This is a neat pocket. Um, and it is. it goes through to the other side, so there's another one over there. These are some playing photos for like to print your photos off of and some cardstock. 
more pretty paper. This one's got some cool de designs on it. I'm in your way. These are stickers. Some neat little designs. And of course, napkins. I have a bunch of magazines that are like 30s. Lots of magazines that's got some really cool pictures and advertisements in it. So, there's a cool dock one there. Um, and this is a pocket I made. And you got the pocket here, as you can see here. And you got the one behind it. On some more old paper. One of the things was pineapple. I finally found an advertisement for pineapple. We had to include, so. Some neat pictures on there. This is actually, one of the things you had to find was shoes. You had to put some of your shoes in. This was a bag I incorporated. And then, see, I used a paper clip. And I made some of those pockets that you've seen. I made her a bookmark that goes on the edge. This is another pocket she can use. It's got a pocket hole there, a pocket hole there. And she can either tape or glue it. And I left it white for her to decorate it herself. Alright, continuing on, we got some funky paper. Mm, this, I got some pieces of, of one of the magazines I've got. My daughter brought me, I don't remember the name of it. Black paper, some ladybugs. This is a cut out your own doll. It is so cute. Like I said, some of the, you can't really see, this has got some cool black and white pictures on it. Um, because the whole picture, lots of little things, a color page, some fun there. This is a pocket here. It's got all kinds of stickers you can see here. So, and not only does she get, I get the use of this, that for her, she can take the whole pocket out and use it. Then here, this is actually a bookmark, but if you glue it onto the corner, you can use it as a pocket. But I don't want to glue it because I want her to be able to use it. So, and I made some envelopes out of coloring paper. So, there's some envelopes. So I'm just using some of those to hold the page down. And this is an envelope. Got one of my bookmarks that I make. Lots of cool little designs and cute little things on that. Thick cardstock there. She's into lots of animals. She had turtles she liked, and um, dogs, I said. She wanted some images for her travel. Small images, and I thought that would be kind of cool to individually cut. Buttons was one of the things we had to incorporate. This is from an old stamp magazine catalog thing. These beautiful animals in here. I love them. Hey, going back, I'm going to go probably a little quicker because fun fun. Hedgehog. Trees. We had to incorporate so many of those. Some more doggies. Little bitty doggies. This is like that pocket that I showed you guys that I left blank. She's got, I got some homemade stickers in there, um, some other type of stickers, some cards. It's got some cute um, images on. And I just barely, um, I took masking tape, but then I stuck it to myself a couple times to make sure it, wasn't, it wouldn't tear when she pulled it up. So she can reuse that in her own journals. Cute imagery. It's the other part of that envelope. Um, it's got, I got all kinds of little odds and ends in there. I'm not going to take them all out, but <laughs> I got too close with the heat gun and <laughs> melted the window, so I had to fix that. <laughs> you know me, guys, I share my good with the bad. Some little wordage and some little pictures. More stickers that are in that. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all the little holes, but I'll show them to you. Here's another. I made that pocket because I wanted to fold over. These are more pockets that I made. This one's cool because you can do in between. 
So you can put something in between, if I can get my finger to work. In between, and then like there. And then there's another one, and you just glue it like that, and then it would stick. If y'all are interested in learning how I make all of those type of envelopes, let me know. Um, I didn't, I think I created one or two of them, but the rest I learned from somebody else, so. There's the faces to the girls. Cute. Monsters. Those are made out of cake. Aren't those cool, guys? I love them with the teeth. Anywho. <laughs> Some more goodies there. There's an extra part of that, and I got a little picture. These are all flowers. How many flowers and things that I made myself? In my stash of stuff that I made that I've had forever. More fun goodies. I mean, I had to stop myself, guys, because I just wanted to keep going and going and going and going. So, here's some bookmarks that I make. You can have so much fun with. And there's a monster one with little monsters peeking out. Or you can glue them on the back and use them as pockets. So much fun, so much fun. Here's another pocket, and I put all kinds of different um, maps and different type of paper in it. So it, come, it does come out, see? But I left a paper, homemade paper clip there. More of that imagery that you've seen on the other side. I love that. Isn't that pretty? So cute. More of my papers, some jelly prints. I made those. I mean, the world is your oyster on these guys. It is so much fun. See, her name, I made it. So much fun. This is the last page. I put in another, a big one. And she's like Harry Potter, had some uh, cards there. And then there's the back. Like I said, I didn't want to stop. I had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just wanted to keep going and going and going. But with this group, they have rules that it needs to fit in to the priority mail standard flat rate one that's like $6 or whatever it is. Um, I tie this up with this beautiful ribbon that or fun eyelashy type of stuff that she'll be able to reuse. Um, let me know what you think, guys. On my first one ever, did I score or did I go boo? Um... I had fun, and as always with our art and with doing these things, that's what matters. And I think she won't be disappointed. I hope not. Um, like I said, I'm doing one with Mara. Yay! Um, if this is something that you guys would be interested in, maybe doing with me, um, let me know in the comments. Get a hold of me or that or on Facebook, and we can talk about maybe maybe doing one together. So happiness to you. Thanks for spending time with me today. Go make a mess, and what are you gonna do, guys? Art it out. Bye.